Hello everyone, welcome back to the last video from Feast, unfortunately. I mean it was 15, 15 songs is a lot and we are, I know the last one, so we will do both of these in this video. Um, yeah, I can't really, really remember what the last one sounded like. I know we did a reaction, or like a, not a reaction, we did an episode on Ears to the East, you can check out our channel. I did an episode with Howard um, about that song and about the music video, but it, I don't think it ever saw the light of day. I'm not really sure why. I would have to ask him. Um, anyway, let's get to Sweet or S W E E T. Here we go. <laughs> That is Tomo. Everybody less sweet. <laughs> immediately have to smile. Ice cream, chocolate, no possess the summertime. Hoy cream, donuts, everybody less sweet. This is like the dessert. Really floaty layers, electronic layers. I mean, definitely a Tomo song in all aspects. She's not just singing that, but it also like feels like it. it probably could be sung by someone else and you would still recognize it as a Tomo song because it has all the, yeah, it has, I don't know, her songs, they have a certain feeling to them. It's very difficult to describe. You know, actually it shouldn't be my taste too much but I really like her songs. I mean, um, is it on Music Battler? I think Final Fantasy is on Music Battler and that's actually one of my favorite Gatorick Spin songs. Um, yeah, it's a very, should you say, 
kind of toned down style or like it's it's a very unheavy <laughs> i'm not sure what's the, what's the opposite it's very light very yeah she has that certain certain style about it which i think is really nice and yeah like like i said you can immediately i was wondering like was one of those songs maybe in like one of the the karma ones maybe a tomo song but this is a tomo song i mean it's also called sweet and tomo is yeah her style sweet kind of describes it um in a good way i would say all right let's check out the last song like i said i think i've heard well i definitely heard this before but it's a couple of months ago and i haven't listened to it again so kind of still new i only remember the music video because i was talking with howard about it there's like some they are in this kind of cafe or restaurant i think and there's some guy there sitting in the corner which they sometimes highlight um but he doesn't really do anything and then he just stands up really awkwardly and walks out of the frame like a robot <laughs> um anyway you can let me know if you know who that is or whatever here we go that guy. That's kind of the AG vocals I was missing a bit. You know, now hearing that, I think that was Oreo all the time. Like in all the other songs where I wasn't sure who it is.
No. The feast is over. Well, we'll just listen to it again. <laughs> okay. So this song, I really like it a lot. And like I mentioned in the video, I kind of, you know, I don't want to say I was missing it before because I wasn't really, but like hearing this, like the strength of Angie's voice. Yeah, I immediately want to listen to some W songs, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But, you know, this song, it will be a hard one to decide which one I will like better. Uh, not music better, sorry. These two, I mean. <laughs> um, I love all of the albums, but like W and Feast, definitely for me, the, the favorites so far. Um, yeah, you know, this really kind of felt to me more of like that music battler style you know this is the oldest i know i think yeah i think gold dash came after yeah angie was in there already um so yeah it kind of maybe that is the reason you know it's obviously the 15th anniversary album and angie is only a part of the group for a couple of years so yeah to me it kind of totally makes sense that they wouldn't put her like as much in the spotlight as they did on w which was like her yeah i don't know how do you say this her, her getrick spin baptizement do you say that baptize you know what i mean <laughs> um yeah i mean some of the songs i think are freaking amazing some of them you know didn't really work for me as much like juicy beats for example this is kind of a standout to me like this is clearly my least favorite song of the whole album and some of them like speed game high rainbow and then we had here bocce fest i think those three probably my favorites but also like here, yeah, this more metal one, madness, glow, or whatever it was called, number one. I mean, all of the songs, like Restaurant F, this last one, also the Tomo song, and also the slower ones, they are really beautiful, you know? I really like, I personally love the, the more energetic stuff, like the like these songs here more, but I mean, everything on this, it's, yeah, it's fantastic, and to me, um, you know, if you compare to Ace, um, yeah, also a lot more accessible, even though to me, this is very like this album, it's a lot feels a lot more, more raw than, or maybe, yeah, maybe raw isn't the correct word, but you know, and on W, to me, it feels like they, they put more. How do you say that? I just have to listen to Feast again. These are just my initial thoughts. Um, you know, I just listened to the whole album in one go. Actually did it in one go, all the 15 songs, because just wanted to hear it. <laughs> and I don't regret it at all. Um, yeah, very much looking forward to hearing that again. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts about Feast. Also, let me know all the live videos that I obviously didn't do. Um, or like, yeah, you can either send me like a playlist or single videos for live performances or a whole performance. Maybe I will do a whole performance at one point. Anyway, I love Feast. Thank you very much for send sending me this. Um, I will definitely check out these DVDs for myself. I think I cannot show these on YouTube, unfortunately. So go and buy this. <laughs> Get Rick Spin doesn't disappoint. Man, I'm very happy. That was great. But I really want to know your thoughts about it. So also check out my latest song, Dream Queen, kind of Get Rick Spin inspired a little bit, maybe. But it's funky, at least. All right. Thank you for watching and see you then. Bye.